Yashim, do you like the restaurant? Huh? What's there to like? It's just a second-class restaurant. But it's a very nice work environment. And Mustafa's a good boss. Yeah, right. He could have given me a small advance. Yashim, I know you just started today. And I got my check. So if you need anything, I can give you some money. Huh? Mm. Mother! Mother, we're home now. Why are you late? Sevki got her check today. She had to cash it first. Are you hiding money from me? No, Aunt Sima. I just didn't have a chance to tell you. Give me that now. Your mom was the same way. This is for groceries. This is for rent. And the electric bill. And this is for the new pair of shoes you wanted. <laughs> Here, you take this. Come on, hurry up and get ready, Yashim. We're going to be late for the wedding. Ah, oh, I completely forgot about it. Today is the wedding, right? What's it to you? You're not coming. Oh, but I thought that... Be quiet. Your uncle's coming home soon. Start making his dinner right now. Ungrateful. You'd be out on the street if it wasn't for us. Your uncle has a house key with him. Don't you dare open the door for anyone else. Come on. Let's go get ourselves ready. Hurry! Good evening to you. Yes. Do you have a piece of bread to share with me, please? Good evening to you, sir. I'm very hungry. I was wondering if you could help me. God be with you. Every morning, two angels call out, Oh God, increase the wealth of those who give, but those who don't. They ask to decrease their wealth? Quite correct. Yet some don't help others, but they still possess great wealth. What someone owns can sit on his back and weigh him down severely, but for others it can take flight and carry them to incredible heights. Then which one are you searching for tonight? I really don't know. I'm just searching. Let's see what the good Lord has in store for us this fine evening, Salih. Why is it like this? You're lonely, I'm lonely. I have nowhere I can go and no one who I can turn to. No one in the world. You're lonely. But don't worry. My mom would always say that God takes care of the needy. They're home. It's too early for them. Who could it be? I don't know what I should do. I'm not sure. Hello? Good evening to you, young lady. Do you happen to have some food to share with a hungry old man? Of course. May God send you his blessings. Thank you, and may he bless us all. May God help everyone who is hungry and has no place to go on a cold winter night such as this one. Huh? Amen. Uh, who is this? Didn't I tell you not to open the door to anyone? But he was really hungry. Eh, come on, old man. Don't make me throw you out. Get going, now. But Aunt Seema... You be quiet. You have no appreciation. We took you in because you were an orphan, but ah, you're getting to be too much.
Excuse me. Would you come over here? Whose bag is this? It's mine. What's this? What's this doing in your bag? I don't know, sir. Look, Sevgi, a customer just forgot this at his table. I swear, sir. Look here, tell me the truth or else I'll have to do something we'll both regret. In that case, you're fired. Get out of here! I didn't do anything! Idiot, you could have at least not gotten caught! Talk back to me! I told you to get the hell out! If you think you can sit around here and be a freeloader, you're wrong! But where will I go? Please don't. You should have thought about that before. Now go! Take all your crap and go! Get out! They'll throw you out on the street. friend for us. Not very friendly. Yeah, I'll help her warm up to us. Mm -hmm. Stay away from me! <laughs> she thinks she can get away. Come on! Where do you think you're going? Come back here. We're not gonna do anything. Come, on. Come here! <laughs> she can get away, huh? Where'd she go? Over here! Look over this way. 
There you go. Thanks, mister. You're quite welcome. Stop with the long face. There is a hidden good behind everything that happens. Now forget about everything. You were sad the other day when I saw you at your home, too. What's wrong? I... I don't know. Life is just too hard. I mean, facing reality. What's wrong with reality? Nothing is the way I want it to be. What is it that you want? I... I was working in a restaurant. I mean, before I was fired. I would always dream that I owned a restaurant, too. I mean, not a big fancy place, you know. I would serve food that people would like to eat in their homes, home-cooked meals. I would also help people who were in need of help. I would always be there for others. I mean, that's really all I want. Do you know that God doesn't just test us with poverty, Sevgi? Wealth comes with its problems, too. I know, but it has to be better than this. That test would be easy. It's in human nature to worry about your fate. It really is, if you think about it, Sevgi. Especially if you have nothing to lean on, you can be left with your guard down when trouble comes down your path. It's okay. As long as I can find something strong I can lean on, I'll just laugh off my troubles. My mom always says, most treat goodness with goodness. Only a few respond to badness with goodness. It sounds like your mom was a very good woman, Sevgi. Hmm. But hey, you know it's hard to be one of those people? My mom. Yes, she was. You look very sleepy, Sevgi. Lie down on the bed and sleep if you like. I don't get much sleep anyway, so I'll sit outside by the door. You have a very good night's sleep, okay? Okay. May God send you blessings. Have a good night's sleep. Good night to you now. Okay. What? What's going on? Where's the old man? Hmm? What old man? Uh, this place. You. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Sevgi? Maybe you should have gone home. What did you say? I mean the store. Whose is it? <laughs> Sevgi, Mahmoud sent this to you. He says to say thank you. What's this for? Remember, you loaned him money the other day. He said he's sorry for being a few days late. All right then, take care guys. You too, sir. Thank you. This place is really mine? But who are you? Oh, come now. Is that your way of telling me you don't like my cooking anymore? Oh, I see. So you must be the chef. <laughs> this can't be. Is it possible I'm still dreaming? I can't be. This is too much. All this can't be a dream. <gasps> Buddy? You're here with me?
Mother, look, I got them. They're nice, aren't they? <gasps> Girl, do you want me to kill you right this minute? I will. I really will. Uh, Mother, what's wrong? You're the one who gave me the money to buy them. Take those shoes off now. Uh, no, why? You're going to take them and get your money back now. Don't look at me like that. She was the only one who worked around here, and she was kicked out by your stupid mother last night. Mm. But she stole, Daddy. Well, so what? So what if she did? Mm. What are we going to do now? Who's going to bring us money? You? Your mother? Who? <clears throat> she was a hard worker, and she was completely naive in giving. And now? I shouldn't have done it, I guess. Ah. Huh? Mm. So now what do we do? I have no job, you have no job. What now? Where are you going? Fresh air! Hmm. Hello there. Hello, hello. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, thank you. God be with you. And with you too, sweetheart. I told you this is this a good place. Oh, man, it's so Come on, do it again. Miss Sevgi! I've been eating so long. Come on, kids. Your table is ready for you. <laughs> what a wonderful thing it is you're doing. People can come without feeling ashamed or shy and ask you for help, and you give it to them freely. The old man. Which old man? You keep talking about him. You wouldn't even believe me if I told you, my friend. A lunch stand opened next door. You want to go say hello? Yeah, of course. They might need something. Let's go see, then. Good day to you. Good day. You too. Congratulations. Do you need help with anything? No, thank you. You own the restaurant right across the uh -huh. way, right? I hope I won't be stealing away your customers. You know, we make sandwiches too, but... Not anymore, then. Sally, we should take it off the menu. If a customer wants a sandwich, we'll come get it from you. Wonderful. <laughs> and if somebody wants dessert, I'll come buy it from you. Thank you. Good luck Take to you. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Excuse me. Who was that girl you were talking to? She owns the restaurant on the corner. Why do you ask? No. No reason. Hmm. We won't even make it to the end of the month with this. She was stupid and all, but she was a hard worker. You know, the kind who could make a living doing just about anything. It was great how she did the housework, too. Hold on a second. You didn't have anything to do with this, did you? What do you mean by that? I mean stealing that wallet. It wasn't your doing, was it, girl? No, Mother. I, I didn't, I swear. Pooh! I can't believe it! Uh, you idiot! Uh, you stupid idiot! Mother, I, I really didn't do anything, believe Don't me! Don't talk to me! Just uh, be quiet! Mother, I beg you, please don't tell Daddy, please! Ah, what is it, Sabia? I have some great news for you. Well, what is it? Look at all this money. And we know where it's going. If you keep this up, you're going to the doctor. Something is wrong with your memory. This money is going to the orphanage, right? Oh, I... Yes, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Sevgi, what's going on? What is this? What are you doing here? 
So, is this what you're doing behind our backs then, huh? Who owns this place? Why don't we know anything about it? It's not mine. It's not. Then whose? Shayna's. It's Shayna's place. She's a friend. She owns it. But she doesn't have time to run it, so she put me in charge. I'm taking care of it. You can say it's really Sevgi's now. She's taking care of everything. Why haven't we ever met this Shaynaz? She was a friend I met in school. Yeah, from school, elementary school. I came across her the other day. She was very kind and brought me out here to help her. This is a pretty big place. It looks like it makes pretty good money too. <laughs> it does, and we're very grateful to God for that. We've been looking all over for you, and we couldn't find you. Why were you looking for me? Uh, well, you're my niece after all. You left because of that idiot over there. I didn't leave you at all. You threw me out. Uh, I did? Oh, come on, my little sweetie. You know how your aunt is, right? Why should you leave because of her silliness? We're your guardians, and I don't want anything like this to ever happen again. <laughs> You're a daughter just like Yeshim is, right? Yeah, little <laughs> sweetie. Ah, good girl. Who is Shaynaz, sir? When a person is cornered, their ego often invents a white covering to shield themselves, and they use it to try to make everything appear clean. What will this change? Just be patient and wait. You'll behold the many secrets that the night still hides within its dark embrace, Sully. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Sure. All right, now listen to me. We need to take care of a few things around here. So what do you mean? The girl is so stupid, we can take the restaurant away. We just have to find a way to transfer it in our name. <laughs> Welcome back, Sevgi. Why didn't you uh, tell me? I could have come to help. Uh, then who would cook the food, Sully? Mm. What's that? Are you calling us lazy, young lady? That just shows how ungrateful people can be. You open your home to someone and this is the thanks you get in return? Uh, but, and Seema, I didn't mean anything. I thought you would be giving, saying that this restaurant also belongs to us. But, uh... But, yes, of course, but. When you don't like something, you start with but. Uh, is that a new coat you're wearing? Uh, my coat was very old, I... Of course, it's different for you. Here, I'll give it to you. No thanks. It's too big for me anyway. Besides, I don't need your hand-me-downs. Here, sweetheart, here. You go buy whatever you want. Uh, but Aunt Seema, that money is going to go to the orphanage. Oh, come on, Sevgi. Do you really think that we would fall for that? Oh, oh man, come on, hurry! Come on, come on. Hey, don't push! I need my You all keep quiet! You're bothering all the other customers! Hey, move over! over. What, are ah! what are you doing, you Clyde? You broke, broke it, you best idiot! Get the heck out! Go Party on, get out before I grab you and break oh, all your little necks! Ah! Oh man, look at this mess, those little brats! Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> Sevgi? Stop! Where do you think you're going? I want some dessert too. Can you send the boy over to the restaurant? No, no. You don't have to buy from there. Look, I make my own. Besides, mine is better than hers. Just look how good it looks. This is the best there is. Just look at this good stuff, huh? <sighs> Mother, what am I going to do? How am I going to deal with all this trouble? How, oh, Mom?
Father, I wish you were still alive. Then it would be easier to deal with all the evil. Mother, this world is filled with badness. There is so much evil. People are punished for being good in this world. So I guess this is what you get for being good. If only I had someone to lean on. Someone to pull me out of this dark hole I've fallen in. Help me, please! <gasps> Someone screamed suddenly for help, but when I turned around, I didn't see anyone. Then I saw you. What if you had fallen down? You were on the edge. What if you hadn't fallen this way, but had fallen off? But why? People are very bad. Very bad. Yes, they're bad. But my mom says, people respond to good with goodness. But very few people do that. <sighs> my dad used to say that. This watch is all I have left behind. Now this is all I have left. No job, no money, I'm all alone. Everyone I trusted turned their back on me. But look, life is not ready to let you go. Well, I gotta get going. But what if you try the same thing again? I was standing there thinking, if my dad were here, if only I had a rope to pull me out of this dark hole. And then you reminded me of what I'd forgotten. <laughs> this will hold me for a while. You don't believe me, do you? Here, take this watch. But it doesn't work. It stopped working a long time ago. Maybe we can get it fixed. Maybe. I couldn't fix it, but maybe you can get it fixed. Then I'll come and get it from you later. Okay. But if you come, you have to start working for us, okay? You said you needed a job? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Birdie. Where's the owner, huh? He doesn't even talk to me. He'll never talk to a stranger. Ah, uh, you never know. I have a way with birds. <laughs> Hi there. Hello, sir. Salih, this is Farouk. He's going to start working with us today. Welcome aboard, Farouk. Who's this? You keep filling the restaurant with bums! And Sima, Farouk will be working here now. <gasps> He's a close friend of Shayna's. You can just imagine what she'll do if we don't hire him. Oh, hello and welcome! Come on, let's take care of you and find you a nice apron. Thank you. <sighs> this is not good. I know. This guy can end up wrecking all our plans. What can we do? He's a friend of Shayna's. Eh, Sevgi's a close friend of Shayna's too. Who cares? That's right. Sefke is the only one who knows Shinaz. On the other hand... Then there is one way to get rid of this guy. Well, am I right? We just have to show her this guy is a no-good, wicked scoundrel. He looks like a very naive person. What should we try doing? Sweetheart, you're feeling kind of sick, aren't you? Uh -huh. 
It's very nice here. I know. I like this place a lot. Your mother? My mom. I'm afraid I lost her a very long time ago. I lost my family when I was little. It's tough. The test gives you very hard questions. You were about to fail that test, though. And they don't hand out makeup tests. Ah. Oh. Sevgi. Yashima's become very sick. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She's burning up. Then you should have stayed home with her, Aunt Sima. Why are you here? She wouldn't let us. She said she was bored and wanted us out. She said she didn't want to be stuck all day with me. She... She wants you there, Sevgi. Wants me? Yes, honey. She wants someone her own age to talk to. Come on. Don't break her heart. She's sick. Yashim, are you okay? I was so bored, Sevgi. I'm glad you came. Come on, come sit down. I have some juicy gossip for you. No thanks. Let's talk about something more important. But it's about that guy, Farouk. Aisha knows him pretty well. Hey, how are you doing, Farouk? You okay? Do you like your new job? Not sure, just started. But it seems very nice. Why don't we step over here and talk a bit, huh? Talk about what? Let's sit down. We're workers, not troublemakers. Baruch, we're just workers, but we do everything around here. We work day and night for a few measly dollars. We deserve to have ownership of this place, too. Isn't that right, Farouk? He's telling the truth. We should at least be partners in this place. Besides, we have been like parents to that girl. Go on and say something to us, Farouk. Aren't we right? Yeah, then this guy just disappeared into thin air, Sevgi. This guy's a crook. Are you too dumb to see he's just playing you for a fool and you're falling for all his lies? Aisha says he's no good. You seem to be feeling much better. Why are you getting mad at me? I'm just telling you for your own good. Mm. What kind of people are you? How do you live with yourselves? She's the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. What are we supposed to do? First smile to her face, then sneak up to her like a fox, then take her for all she's worth? Besides, she's stupid. She won't catch on, like taking candy from a baby. As long as I'm here, I won't let you harm her. If you upset her, you'll have to answer to me. Sevgi? Sevgi! Sevgi? Sevgi, what's wrong? You're bad too. You're a liar. What did I do? Tell me. Look, did you overhear what I said inside? What did you hear? Please tell me. Please talk to me. You just leave me alone, liar! Don't show your face around me again! Don't dare! at you idiot you're just an idiot aren't you so easy to fool you isn't it you just go around begging for even the slightest bit of affection now don't you what what did you get in return nothing a great big nothing but that's over it's over forever It's going to be sad if we lose this. This place would set us for life. Weren't you going to talk to your lawyer friend? I'm going to. Time is starting to run out though, Dad. Mm. We have plenty of time. Don't worry about that. Oh. 
Who do you think you are? And what's it to you, lady? I'm sure Sevki mentioned me. This place belongs to me. I am Shaynaz. Mm. Oh. I just got back from overseas. Where is Sevki? Uh, she's close by. We're taking care of the place. Oh, really? Good. Good. Take good care of it, then. Hop to it. You clear the plates. You take care of the chairs. And you wash the windows. Come on, hurry up! Oh, 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 oh God! <sighs> Who are you? I'm Sully. You? Shenaz. Hmm? You look like you're a pretty good guy to me, Sully. From now on, you're in charge of this place. Keep your eyes on these characters. You vulgar man! I'm so hungry! Who are they? You could say they're Sevgi's friends. She would give them food. She would give them food and they would fight over it, right? Not any longer. Get out of here now! But where is Miss Sevgi? But you all will be begging for Sevgi! Get out! Now! Go, 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 come go, on! Go, Let's go! What are you looking at? Get moving! Uh, Get back to work! Uh, Move it! Uh, oh, mother! open. I wonder if Sevki came back. Come on! Why are you late? Uh, uh, Answer me! We had some work to do this morning. Your work is here or it's there. You decide. <laughs> Miss Shenaz, I would like to ask you something. And what's that? Now that you showed up out of the blue and Sevki disappeared, is this place really yours? Because we're not convinced. So you're asking me for proof, huh? Mm hmm. Here's your proof, then. Oh! 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 Come on. Oh. Pick it up. Oh, come on, come on. Pick that one up, too. Pick them all up. Put them in your pocket. Good, good. Get it all. Don't leave anything. Oh. So do you have any more questions huh? for me, Chasm? <laughs> any questions at all? <laughs> no, not at all, no. <laughs> okay, good then. I think it's time for us to change things up here a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm adding two hours to the workday. Uh, we're going to stay open uh, later. Uh, and we're adding on to the menu. Ah, oh, by the way, from now on you're going to buy produce from the market much earlier. At five in the morning. And I've reduced the number of breaks in the day to two. Actually, let's make it one. You have a nice long lunch break anyway. Oh, oh my feet. Oh. Mom, my poor back is killing me. I feel like my feet are going to fall off. Oh. But I, I, I can't take it anymore. Don't be stupid. What? We're completely wiped out. She's a slave driver. Huh. I think she's the devil incarnated. And you're telling me? I have to get up at oh. four every morning, don't I? Oh. But we're going to hang on. I'm keeping an eye out for her weakness. She threw the money at our feet, but we still don't have proof she owns the place. We have no choice but to wait until Sevgi comes back. She was good. Who? You know, Sevgi. <sighs> I wonder where she is. Yeah, you miss her too, huh? But it's all our fault then, isn't it? She wouldn't say anything to us. She wasn't like this witch. Hmm. Maybe she killed her. <gasps> Maybe that lady is not even Shenaz. Maybe. She definitely did something. Huh? Because otherwise, where would Sevgi go? Poor thing doesn't even have anywhere <sighs> to go. What would she do out in the streets? I'm going to bed. Oh, we have to get up very early in the morning. In the test called life, people are faced with many forms of injustice and oppression, Salih. 
Injustices are just one part of the test we must face during our lives. But since oppression can't possibly go on forever... Every oppression is wiped away by the hand of another oppressor. Whereas good could eliminate the oppression entirely with a kind and a merciful hand. I understand. So one disaster teaches more than a thousand warnings. But in the end, it is still people who make all of the decisions. This Shaina's situation is going to be interesting. Hello there. Looks like a nice profit. Not too bad. Good for you. What if we decided to give out some more free meals again, to those in need? Why's that? When you give from what you've earned, it will come back to you twofold. Besides, what is all that money good for, other than sharing it with all the people that you love? What's your point? I mean, I don't think you're very happy with this situation either. Tell me something, was this what you dreamed of when you first thought about opening this place? You can't run a business on dreams. Yes, what is it? I was looking for Sevki. Is she here? No. What do you want to see her about? She and I have a little unfinished business. And how is it that you know Sevki? I just do. Do you know where she is? No, I don't. She hasn't been around. Maybe she'll never come back. Hmm. Maybe she will. How can you be so sure? I believe in her. She keeps her word. She'll finish what she started. She won't break her promise. She'd never give up on her dream that easily. Buddy? Sefki's not here and won't be back. We're closing up. Please leave. Where did you go, Sevki? What do you want with me? Sevki, why are you talking to me like this? Because you are no different than the rest of them. You're all bad. Shaynaz could put you all in your place. Don't even mention her to me. Please don't. She's the one who's bad. She's the cruel one. 
I don't see how you ever became friends with her. Why? Because I'm so stupid? Because it's just like child's play to trick me. No! You are all bad. Shaynaz isn't. She just knows how to speak your language. Now leave me alone. I never want to see you again. From now on, things are going to be very different around here. You've decided to improve the working condition, Shaynaz, huh? First, that's Miss Shaynaz to you. Second, if anyone is not happy, there's the door right over there. Third, if you have any plans about taking over the restaurant, then trust me, I'll make you live to regret it. Oh, of course not, Miss Shaynaz, of course not. Well, okay then. If we're all on the same page, then get back to work! That table there. Eat up, son. Yes, sir, Dad. Okay. Oh. Enjoy Thank your you. meal. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh. Oh. That table. I'll have a bowl of soup first. And what would you like to order, please? I would like some chicken. Look here, Sully. I want you to reduce the amount of meat in each serving to 90 grams. Why is that? Because I said so. But the standard is a hundred. Who cares about that? Just do what I say. No way. That would be stealing from the customers. I won't. What's it to you? They're not your customers. The law is clear. And everyone has a certain expectation of what they're going to be eating. We cannot trick them. Well, I see that everyone is the boss around here. When I tell you to do something, then you do it. That's all. Then you do it yourself. I won't steal from people. <clears throat> I'm dying. I'm really just dying from exhaustion. I can't actually tell you if it's day or night anymore. I take lunch and dinner orders in my dreams all night long. I can't sleep anymore. What? What should we do? What do you think, Sema? Do you think you can find any other job? Any at all? Ah, Sevgi. Ah. That's right. We're really going to bang our head against the wall for that. You're the one who should do that. You're the one who threw her out. You! You have some nerve, Yashim. Why did I throw her out? Because of you, that's why! You know what I think? I think she really did something bad to Sevgi. Something very terrible. Shh! She's coming! I'm leaving for a few hours. Make sure all the prep work is done. Don't leave until it's done. I'm going to follow. Go! Go! It's very difficult, but she's not giving in. That's just how people are as they go around hurting and breaking things around themselves. The devil gives them a very sweet taste to savor in their mouths. Her strong anger is overpowering her conscience, but her conscience is putting up a very defiant struggle deep inside of her. She's fleeing the same troubles that Sevgi faced. But what Shaynaz faces is also too much for her to deal with. <laughs> Mom, wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Wait, can't you catch me? Ahmet, come over here, kids. How are you, Ahmet? How do you know my name? Well, Sevgi told me your name. She really likes you. I really like her too, but she's not around. Who knows where she went? She was a very nice person. Everyone used to love her. Well, I, I don't know where she went to, kids. I wouldn't even ask you anyway. You wouldn't know where she is. Because you wouldn't know where to find a good person.
Look, Ahmed. Take this money. You can buy things with it for you and your friends. I don't want your money. Why not? You don't know? You know how in movies the villain always gets what he deserves at the end? You'll find out too. No one around here likes you, but everyone really likes Sevgi. A man who loved Sevgi came into the restaurant. When Sima wanted to take over the restaurant, he told them he would never let them hurt her. He said he would do anything for Sevgi. He told them how good she was. You can keep your money. We don't want it. You'll never be as good as Sevgi. Come on, Come on let's scram. Let's go. Sevki, Sevki, Sevki. What, what, what? Like you really cared about her so much. We all saw what you were doing to her. You were all after her money. You treated her like a fool and pushed her around. She wanted to show her love to you, but you asked for Shayna's. I didn't ask for her. Now how is this game going to end? How? Farouk. Where are you? Really? She shame us. Don't be stupid. I swear, Mother, I saw her myself. She knows it all. What happened at the house? She was talking to herself. I heard it. Oh, look, it's Farouk. Go on, hurry, go get him. He's friends with Shayna's. He would know. Grab him and ask him. Why don't you ever believe me, Mother? I tell you, it's her. I know it. <sighs> he says no. He doesn't know anyone named Shayna's. He says that Sevgi saved his life. Yeah, can't you be quiet? Stop repeating like a silly parrot. Mm. Let us tell him our problem now. Have a seat, please. Have a seat. We're waiting on Sevgi. Is she coming? I hope so. Sevgi and Shaynaz are the same person. They're one and the same. That can't be. She knows you too. She went to the park and said your name. Which park? You know, the park on top of the hill. But how can... Sevgi? What's with this Sevgi? You are Sevgi. I followed you. I heard everything. Don't be stupid. Besides, what you right do you- Sevgi. It's true! Admit it! So you were getting revenge on us the whole time, huh? Out! Get out! Get out of here! Go look oh. for your Sevgi or whatever have you! I've had mm. enough! Mm. I didn't believe it anyway. What? That you could be Sevgi. Your eyes. They don't possess her sparkle, or the goodness in her heart. Is it you? I want nothing. I was just wondering. What? What you want to do? You... You can't ask me that! I did it because of you! It's all for you, right? I didn't want it to turn out like this. I just wanted a place where I could help people. 
where many people could come together and be happy. But they were going to take it away from you. Remember that? Then could you have been so happy? Well, are you happy now? I'm strong. They can't hurt me now. If you want the power to simply crush things, you don't have to be a person to do that. Elephants are more powerful than people, and they can crush anything they want. Liar! Liar! Shut up! Liar! You're just jealous of me! I took care of them all! I did! This place is mine! I made it! I won it all! I have lost. Oh God, I have lost. I have ruined everything. Everything is gone. Everyone has left. The old man is right. Happiness is loving the things you have, not longing for what you don't. Somebody help, there's a fire! The door's locked! The door's locked! Somebody call the fire department! Fire! Fire! fire, department. fire department. There's a fire! Hurry up! What's going Somebody on? Up. There's a fire in the restaurant! Oh, no. Stop! Stop! What are you doing? Let go! Stop! Let go. Let go. Stop. You're Stop. He's inside! No. Stop! Stop. 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 I... I'm lost. Sipki! 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 Wake up! I guess it was all just a dream. Mister? Mister? Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. Sevgi Gunnar? Me. That's me. Sevgi, that store right behind you and some money were left to you by your great aunt when she died. Thank God I was able to find you. It really wasn't very easy for me to find myself. It's like... It's like I'm living in a dream or something. Don't forget, miss. One day, all of us will awaken from our dreams. What's important is how we awaken, and who it is we've become. And so? So this store is yours. I hope everything here works out for the best. To you, we had a good meal today. <laughs> so, kids, did you enjoy your lunch? Mm -hmm. Then have some more.
Yes? Good day to you. I came about the job opening. Can you explain this dream to me, sir? A dream can be a window that opens up things that will happen or have happened. It can be a small piece or the whole thing that represent other important things which affect our lives and those around us. Were there other factors here that had an impact on this dream, sir? If a person's conscience is completely free from outside pressures and disruptive conditioning, dreams can be a light shining to the future or a sign of things to come. What purpose is served by a light or a future sign? It can help illuminate the darkness and the trials that we will eventually face in the days that lie ahead of us. Mm -hmm.